I was like struggling to do basic math in that last run. I mean, I struggle all the time, right? But that was struggling more. Okay, we'll do silent. That was unfortunate. In my heart of hearts, I, th I want to upgrade, but I just, I, I don't know. Next time we're just gonna YOLO and upgrade, not rest. What happened here? Who got into my account and did this to me? Let's go for the snipe. Why not? I didn't even look at the path. I don't recommend that, obviously. Feeling lucky. Hmm. I could buy attack potion. So let's say I don't get the sniper, right? There's a chance. And maybe I buy attack potion just in case. Uh, we're gonna take our take our chances here. One. I got. This is so scary because like. Once I click this question mark, I can't go back. Okay. Ooh. Go into snipe too, because I have escape plan, right? So that's part of the. Right, so we got two bag of preps. So two bag of prep run. Um, my favorite. Because what's better than one bag of prep? Two. Guardian. Interesting. I think I like Wally Plans. Alchemize has potential, but I think Wally Plans is. Yeah, Wally Plans is the pick. Yeah. I mean, it's tough to pass up a nice little Alchemize, huh? Double bag of prep, baby. <laughs> double bag of prep, he had one job. He had one job, double bag of prep. Kaka game was insane, but we had no damage, guys. There's a problem. We have no damage, but yeah, great card. Great card as well early on because we can kind of get a lot of things to synergize with it. I'm taking it. Ooh, so I'm a huge fan of Tiny Chest, but I'm starting to wonder, or not starting, I'm kind of thinking this might be Sapphire Key. Hmm. I mean, I like Tiny Chest, but if there's anything that we could Sapphire Key, it's probably pretty safe to Sapphire Key at this. An early tiny chest, though. Who knows what treasures is bestows upon me? Big fan, big fan. All right, so we got really good powers, right? We just need to get some damage here. Top tier powers. I forgot to retain. Whoopsies. Oh no, not like this. Imagine if I had retained. My bad. Oh, we're full block. Never mind. Strolling. Remember how I mentioned I have food in the way? Yeah. Just keep that in mind. Yeah, well, that's one way to look at it. Like, oh, you take the key in the room to the but... I look at it more like... Like, tiny chest is a pretty safe thing to have sapphire away from us. Versus being forced to sapphire... Anything that's not tiny chest. <laughs> you catch my drift. But uh you know, I feel okay about tiny chest because it's early and I can maybe go on a tiny chest rampage and get more relics than I even dreamed of. Whoops, I can then sapphire those. So it's fine. Oh 
Okay, so we got blur with our footwork, which is nice, but we need damage. And I suppose finisher can be some damage. And what with Wally plans in our deck, it's a little bit easier to play as well. I'm sorry, Blur. But I need the damage. Other Wally plans as well. Be a finisher deck. Oh, that's a Vajra. Okay, there's damage. Done. It worked out beautifully. I see. I don't really want to delay this fight. No, let me see. I'm gonna use this region bot because I might drop get a potion here, but also. All right, I guess we just full block then, huh? Actually, we take one damage here. Get, get the tiny puzzle. I think I'll be fine regardless. Assume me if this ends up being my demise. That one damage is my demise. Oh no. Damage is overrated. Oh, I didn't get the full heal. Okay. So Cloak and Dagger is really good finisher. We didn't get the full heal. So that would end up being... 5 health I didn't take advantage of. So here's actually worth it to do this because I can find Wally Plants. Bam. Only problem is... I didn't do enough damage. I lied. We're fine. This is such a good start of a run. This deck is actually, honestly, aside from like me missing the heal, this run's like perfect. This is actually a perfect run. So far. Sparkle Snipe. Great powers. Nice damage that I can kind of get consistently. I kind of want to go for finisher here, but then it's probably better just hold both blocks. So we can do 27 at the end of that, and thus 27 plus 14 is 41. Not enough. Bad. We could take one damage here. Unless we want to go for a high score. Do we want to go for a high score? Yeah, so if you want to go high score, we have to beat it in 20, 45 minutes, right? No, I, I've gotten really high scores, despite the fact that I take a long time, right? Little we'll bag of prep. Why am I even doing this? I could just save this for next turn. What am I doing? I should have saved that for finish next turn. Might be. So that's taking a while. It'd be kind of funny if I end up losing this, right? Especially if I'm, I'm adhering to this whole idea of trying to get more high score here. Oh, yeah, I can just full block again. Sure, why not? See what happens. If I was not going for perfect, I would just do a strike here and there while that's happening. Just 
which might make a difference because of this turn right here. Did it again. <laughs> Guys, the, oh, I I was going for perfect. No, I okay. Who cares? Now I don't worry about it. Okay, high score out of the window. Let's go play play a game. So, um, this music runs in Game of Thrones. When exactly is it coming out again? Let me double check. April 17th. Ooh, it's close. It's close. Malays as well. Ah, uh, we had Glass Knife with Vajra. Yeah, but that's Malays. We also have other plans, so hold on to it. Yeah, I'm happy with that choice. Glass Knife would be nice for damage, though, because we are lacking front loaded. And what do you know, actually? So the fact that I missed the 5 heal link from that, we could have been a full life. That will translate into Act 2. Let's hope that doesn't make a difference. Well. <laughs> 1 HP hit. Forget what I'm saying. Forget the whole train of thought. Forget about the whole thing. Two elites here. Problem with elites is we don't have good AoE. I skipped the chest. Did I mention I'm waiting for food? Did I mention I'm waiting for food? Oh god. It's too late. It's not too late. No, it's fine. As long as you don't click a floor, I suppose. Alright. Um, all right. I don't like any of these. I'm skipping. Okay, let's see. Coffee dripper. Seems fair. Why skip? What do you mean why skip? I didn't. I didn't mean to skip. That wasn't intentional. All right, so two leads. I can get more out of Malays, but I think with once we play full it's not gonna really matter. Oh, I guess it did. Forgot about the frail. And if someone had double bag of prep, I really didn't get very lucky there. So I missed that while they plans, obviously, in the weekend, but I need, I want to, my life, my life since I don't have, since I don't have the, um, since I have Copy Tripper, I want to make sure I don't take any damage at all. I don't need to take damage in this fight. Damn, this deck is going to take a long time to kill, though. I can, I can see it already. This deck's taking a long ass time to kill. And then I do a turn like that, okay. Damage, whatever. Ooh, it's pretty decent. Also, with Vader, this is 20 damage for two. If I upgrade it, 25 for two. And I think it's Crippling Cloud or Predator here. So, this is some AoE. Our deck lacks AoE right now. This gives me some AoE. And it gives AoE Weaken as well. But we do need more damage, right? So, more front loaded damage like Predator would be very good for our deck. I think Predator is probably better. 
Now, if we get Cloak and Dagger upgraded, then Finisher becomes a much better attack. I'm uh, probably pretty happy with that, but... This is sort of... It's a tough choice, because this is also upgraded. And more card draw means better finishers, sometimes. Or on average. Eh. Who's the boss here? So, Crippin Cloud gets rid of artifacts, which is very important. And this guy is three artifacts. But beyond that, we're going for elites, right? And so, slavers, I would say, still prefer Predator in the saber fight than Clipping Cloud. Do I? If I upgrade Clipping Cloud, this is pretty good. For both Gremlin and slavers. It's a tough choice, man. I think I like Predator here. I, think I like Predator here. One sec, I need to talk to L. My bad for the delay. Uh, yeah, I feel the Predator here, boys. Girls, boys and girls. I need much of some food. I'm, I'm starving. Uh, I hope this is appetizing. I have these cold samosas. I hope this is appetizing here. Look at bronze now because we have bad AoE. And we might get another potion. Yeah. One damage? I don't need to take one damage. Sounds so good, really? Dude. Typically when I'm thinking of samosas, I'm not thinking of eating them cold. From the fridge. But. It is what it is. Mimosas. <laughs> they lose some of their amazingness when they're cold, though, in my opinion. Yeah, they're still very good, though. They get soggier when they're cold, you know? Like, they lose crispiness and crunch. And the texture makes a big difference in food. Alright, so we got Cloak and Dagger, which is another finisher... Um, a finisher aid. So is this. But upgraded, this is one more shiv with no block attached, where this is just one less shiv with footwork block attached. Threshold problems? Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Threshold problems. You're not wrong. Let's go, baby. Perfectly planned. Easy clap. What's up, David? Yeah, I should probably mic with them, huh? I didn't want to wait too much time because I was trying to get to you guys. But I'm going to mic with them. <clears throat> I came back upstairs. But yeah, I'm going to mic with them right now. After this fight. Microwave, microwave doesn't bring back the texture of the food. In fact, microwave often screws up texture of food. But it brings some heat, which is not bad. Paper towels? Okay. I'll try that. Um, 
I won't maybe do it for like 35 seconds or something. Oh, wait. so now that's like finisher. Can we take, this is already upgraded. Mm, I'm kind of, so it's not very good against time meter. Um, that's a long time away, but I think with the Vajra, okay, I'm taking it. Be right back, be right back. Give me a minute. All right, well, a little bit softer, soggier, but let's dive right in. Okay, <clears throat> okay, oh my god. Okay, so this is a bad event, right? Because uh, we can't rest, but boy, do I like some of the options. All right. You think we're gonna hit big and get colorless card? Bam, bam, boom, or just get out of here? If someone told you to lose 18 HP for 180 gold, would you do it? Especially since you can't rest. Probably not. You know what would be, would be nice though? Oh wow, this fight. Okay, give me a second. This fight is rough. What would be nice would be, um... You hear me out here. I think holding on to Blade into other planes is better. Use Predator to draw onto Finisher, and it's better to hold on to Blade into for Finisher. So not only are we going to get the card draw, we're also going to hold on to this. I think it's better to hold on to it. So what we're going to do is... Bam. Bam. I might just get rid of this, I think. And do bam. Let's hope we find Finisher here. Wow. Okay. On the bright side, let's say I do neutralize Blade Dance, Cloak and Dagger. I get rid of everything with Crocodile and Gamble, and then I find Finisher that way. Not guaranteed. I can wait another turn. Hmm. Maybe I should play dance now and who cares about finisher, right? Hold on to um, Cloak and Daggers next turn. The finisher is huge. Is it better microwave? Yeah, but like. So these were like leftovers I had in the fridge. And I don't think they went bad, but the taste is a little bit different. I'm just kind of getting accustomed to the new taste, the new texture. I eat this food a lot, so. What the hell is my dog crying? I'm sorry, guys. I have an idea. Hey. Hey. Who's that boy? <clears throat> Blade Dance was a great addition to the deck. Play Indian food option? I like Indian food. Indian food is one of my favorite, um, some of my favorite food, but, um, well, if you consider, the, yeah, I guess if I, I eat these samosas, I don't eat, I pretty much eat these, so I, I get these, like, potato samosas, but also sometimes I also get these chicken samosas as well. That's pretty much what I eat, but, that's as Indian as it gets. But when I was living in New York, I would get um, more of the whole shebang. I even kind of like picked up cooking, so I, I got into cooking. And one of the things oh, I should probably done Malays plus my bad. One of the things that I learned was like a nice lentil soup, or I don't know if lentil soup is the right word, or maybe it was like a lentil curry. No, it wasn't lentil curry, so it was like, damn, I, f I forgot the right terminology for it. But it had coconut milk, cayenne spices, turmeric, all that good jazz. Lentil was my main um, protein. I was really inspired by Indian flavors. 
because it because that there's a lot of like Indian health food stores and like I don't know stuff in New York that you can get a lot of good stuff from. There we go. Dal, dal. All right, I. What's my main objective in this fight here, actually? Well, first we want to play this power. All right. There maybe some mare to hold on to finisher. Wait, what's wrong, buddy? Why are you pushing me? He's gonna attack me eventually, and I think I'm not gonna be prepared for it. So what if I just do fin my lazy now? Nah, I want to kill the minions. I have a lot to do. I have a lot to do here. But so little energy. Like, I want to play full work. I want to do a big malaise. I want to manage the minions. Honestly, maybe I should just be focusing on the boss, huh? But luckily, he's not attacking. So, is this the turn where we go for big malaise on him or is it better for me to just play predator and push for damage here i feel like i'm holding to malaise way too much because we're getting closer to like finisher being able to kill him obviously it would be nice to do this but he's already scaled up so much that it doesn't really matter hmm. might have misplayed this fight oh i guess so finish again. How much damage? That's a lot of damage, right? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Massive. Yeah, he does. You're right. You're right. Wow. Piercing will and acrobatics. So dagger spray is not bad because we do need AoE. And we have Vajra, so it makes it a little bit better. Vajra dagger spray. Also, piercing will is amazing. Acrobatics is also kind of nice to help make sure we ensure we get our powers out. Or get a really nice finisher play. I think we value piercing well higher than acrobatics, and I think dagger spray. Is it the play here? Since, since we have malaise, and the next elite could be. Slavers are book of stabbing, right? Piercing well is good against the slavers, but dagger spray is probably just as good. There's also something to be said about like adding another offensive strike to my deck, like an offensive card. The other thing about Pierce the World is that it gets out of your deck. So I can keep doing this that's working so well. I can keep doing the Cloak and Daggers, Play Dance Finisher stuff, and blocking consistently. The Dagger Spray makes it a little bit more awkward. I'm gonna have some turns where I draw into Dagger Spray and I don't want it, I want block instead. So for that, for that purpose, I kinda wanna not play Dagger Spray. I just like the, the flow of the deck. Hmm. Alright. Get the get the AoE here. <clears throat> this is scary. Scary fight. I have to be very blocky blocky just because I can't rest. Could I have avoided that? So if I hit the finish, I'm weakened. Is 
Is this dexterity pop fight time? No, right? No, 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 no. Um, I should operate my laser at some point. Anyways, let me see here. I don't want to take damage because, again, I can't rest. Two damage is not the end of the world. It's like tricks, but the thing is that I want to... That's a really bad turn. I guess we could do Calculate Gamble. But what are the chances that the next four cards that I draw is going to be better than these right here? It's, the chances are not that great. All right. Could have done Victory Pop or whatever. The question here is we're still weakened, which sucks. That guy's not dead, it sucks. Six, three, four. He's dead now, but at what cost? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Maybe it's better to focus the sleeve in the front. That was my bad. Maybe it's better to focus him in the front. Because we can do while he plans hold on to our block. Whereas this guy's doing 18 damage right now. I probably was better. I can still turn it around. I can still full block here. The only problem is that I got rid of finisher blade dance combo. Yeah, I could have killed the guy in the front. Yeah, I could have killed the guy. That's my bad. I could have killed the guy in the front there. If I just focus him. I'm gonna be weakened again. That sucks. Ow. I'm stalling this fight so much. So bad. Oh, man. I should have killed one of them by now, but... Uh, damn. I'm not, I'm not playing this fight properly at all. I'm taking way too much damage for no reason. Nah, I, I, I kind of screwed this fight up. I didn't need to take all this damage. I, for instance, that block alone was... Uh, I'll be there... Escape plan? Okay. So Predator was probably a bad play then. Damn boys. I messed this up big time. Oopsies. I could have waited till I was not weakened. But why wait? Uh, I kind of want to do the Gremlin Up fight. But I took so much damage there. I want to do the Gremlin Up fight. I think I can handle it. I just played that fight really bad. So with one good finisher turn, I can, I can handle that fight really well. The wounds might become an issue. Alright, maybe I'm just throwing the run. Maybe I'm just completely throwing the run here. I could be. I could be, I could be, I could be. Forty five. Fifty four. 
61. Maybe I'll do this just to maybe find the Wally Plints. Oh, Ori Calcum. Derp. Ori Calcum. The dodge roll is pretty good because we have footwork, but then there's also skewer with Vajra. But that's awkward as a Namba with finisher. We're already doing finisher things. I think we take the dodge and roll or we skip. I think we take the dodge and roll or we skip here. Yeah, I had Ori Calcum that. Also, I could be a lot healthier, but I think we'll be fine. I really screwed up the first part of that fight, though, really bad. Really, really, really bad. Get some more block, for sure. Although, I kind of want to keep the duck small, right? Because my deck operates very well with the cards it has already. Cloak and Daggers, the finishers. The bigger my deck, the more um, inconsistent. So, I shouldn't be rushing to add too much. Speaking of Runic Dodecahedron, I guess we sapphire this, right? S since we can't rest, it's a little bit harder to get full life. Alright, so I've... I messed up the scaled down version of this. Let's try to maybe do better on the uh, large scale version of this. Damn it, I want to finish her so bad. Not like this. Not like this. I was digging for the finisher. Bam. Huh. Uh, there is some merits to using weak pot. I mean, I guess I can save it for the boss fight or whatever, but... Why does that guy have to live with 1 HP? That's annoying. Seriously, dude? Yeah, it's pretty good footwork, I know. I think I'm just... Something about this fight just, just wrecks me. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Well, I guess we could do Malaise. And let Orikakum do the rest. It's not the end of the world. I gotta wait till I'm not weakened. Mm. This fight sucks, actually. Just being weakened sucks, turns out. To the block. If I'm gonna go for a big finish turn, I should not hold it to block, in my opinion. There's wounds and stuff. Oh, we're 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 feeling it, boys. I think we're we might be screwed. I gotta handle the wood. Oof. Okay, we might be screwed. Oh, I, I didn't hold on to the wounds. That's really bad. I'm making mistakes. I'm making lots of mistakes right now. Hmm. 
Why are you so, so cute? Just leave it on my lap right now. Why are you being so cute? So here we hold on for finisher though, right? That, I can say that much. I can say that much. And now we won't be weakened, which is very nice. No weakened just makes me a happy boy. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Yeah, I'm so low in life. Kind of sucky. I'm going for the big kill next turn. Or something. Mm -hmm. It was in this moment I knew that I had royally fucked up. Man. This fight's on me though. I did really bad in this fight. Oh, good. I mean, I guess we could say that, like, the second blade is pretty good. Oh my god, he's so cute right now, boys. I wish you guys could see him. Is it good? Second blade dance? I don't know. Might be excessive. I think I'm adding too many cards. It feels excessive. It can lead to very, very crazy amounts of damage if I get both of them off a of finisher. Very, very crazy amounts of damage. But I think I'd rather be more consistent and have that damage be a little bit less, but... Mm. Full heal. I like Lantern with Double Bag of Prep. I like upgrading this. How can the Game Boy also want to upgrade as well? Ooh, speaking of which... Waffle. Whoa. Courier membership card? Okay. I'm intrigued. Rayform for 63. The hyperbeam man doesn't think he's getting hairy. Also, we may have a big likelihood of finding Kunai Shuriken here. Because we have cheap relics and we get Courier as well. It's not bad. Uh, and the moment fan is very strong. Only problem here is. Moment fan is very strong. I just don't know if. I'm not really struggling with energy. Like, I think I like the stone better. I think I like the stone better. The only thing is. I'm scared. Hey, this is like a weird fear, but I'm scared like if I hit like Kunai Shirk and I can't afford it after the fact. Not that I need those card need those relics, but like Also it's ready from the play. I think we should be able to block this guy fairly well. Especially with the stone, if we buy the stone. Seven max speed is probably not that bad, huh? Is there I can't rest? I fucking called it! I said I wouldn't get mad, but I'm still mad that I see it. I knew, I literally, the game was listening. Alright, well, who needs, who needs Kunai anyways, right? Get Shuriken and down the line. Although Kunai would have been so good for this fight in particular, just in general, with the fact that I can't rest, Kunai and can't resting go hand in hand. I took that risk. Honestly, what are the chances? What are the odds? What are the odds? <laughs> no, what I'm trying to say is that I didn't want to buy the stone because I was scared that Kunai was going to pop up and I can't afford it. That's why I didn't want to buy the stone. I, would, I literally just said that in the stream. I was like, I'm scared to buy the stone because it, it shows Kunai Shurgan. I don't think I can buy it. Lo and behold, I bought the stone. The alternative was just not buying stone and we could like do like, let's see. So I want to remove a strike. And I'm thinking about Wraith form here. Maybe do another dodge and roll. I said remove strike, another dodge and roll. I think Granada would be such a massive power boost. It's insane. 
Sucker Punch, 11. Another source of weaken. I guess it's helpful to get rid of the artifacts and maybe ensure that he stays weakened. It's not bad, right? Weaken is very powerful against Hyper Beam. Or the Automatum, rather. I suppose it's not bad. Things I'm, I'm playing to get a big malaise. But in order to reach a big malaise, I guess I need Sucker Punch to help. Yeah, Sucker Punch is not bad. I normally wouldn't take it. I'm taking a risk, I'm not doing raid form. Which, it could save my butt. Alright. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Second dodge and roll here. Mm. Oh, that would've been so cheap too. Huh. Should've saved some gold then. Should've saved some gold, maybe. Find our powers. I want to get Malaise to actually hit him, but yeah. And a greed courier. Uh, yeah, that's consideration. Automatic Fan would be huge too, so Automatic Fan would be great for the deck. Kunai was really top tier actually. That was a big loss for us. The odds there. I think I'd rather dodge and roll for the block next turn. I suppose I know I can get one less finisher, but I think it's important to have block next turn. Although I think our block's actually pretty good. All right, we'll bite. I'm biting. My malaise. So now we can do malaise. Now we can do malaise, which is nice. So helps guarantee we can hear. If I do my in a better turn, probably, right? This is 3-3. Three, three. Seems okay. And just maximize a little bit better. I'm gonna try like this. Straight up, straight up my laser here. Things that keep this guy alive, right? Whereas if I kill this guy... So I kill this guy, and then what I can do is just focus on 1v1 on the boss, and then I don't, I'm not really rushing for malaise. I think it's Pesonario. Yeah, Pesonario. I don't, Pesonario, I think he's been doing his own thing. But yeah, we should. What, are you going to reach out to him? Those are good times, man. I remember playing SC2 with you guys. I remember we used to do, like, the, what's it called? Peep mode. Peep mode was really fun. I kind of want to do this again, but I think you're out of SG2. Anyways. I want to get my block next turn. Probably should just my laser for zero, honestly, just to get the weekend. I mean, the. Alright. I 
I might be taking this fight too slow though. Belize just set the clock back a little bit, right? Belize has the clock back just a little bit. If we can get a big finisher now. I will take damage, it's fine. Um, yeah, maybe I should prioritize not taking damage at all, but not too bad. about being perfect here. Honestly, I should have done Predator and just not be full block. That was a... We're close enough to killing him. Although, I don't think I can survive another attack. Wait. Wait a minute. I might have messed up there. I don't know if we can survive another attack. Oh, of course we can. Of course we can. Of course we can. But yeah, probably better hold on to finish it there. Data Dire Skip, maybe? Data Dire Skip, or even then Data Die, like at this point, I added Dagger Spray. I'd rather skip. I mean, I guess in Venom could be something. Alright, so we gotta keep in mind. We have the ability to find Snuggle Skull. And with, with the finisher and all the ships we're playing, in Venom could reach kind of crazy levels, but I don't know if it's Seems kind of clunky. Might be a skip. Huh. So, Busted Crown for 5 energy. Could go to the shops and go to the shops and have the shops flesh out our deck because we have some cheap stuff we can buy at shops. So maybe I can use the shops now to flesh out my deck. The fifth energy helps me get bigger malaises, just better finishers, more block in general. I don't mind the energy. What cards am I looking for? I think at this point I'm looking for relics, right? Like relics that we passed up Kunai RP. I think a third act Busted Crown doesn't feel too bad. I don't think no, I don't think Inventor was practical, no. I mean, the only thing about Inventor that I'm thinking about was like the potential to have some kind of I wouldn't even say scaling from it. I don't know. No, I just don't think it was practical. Hovering Kite? Okay, let's talk about Hovering Kite. So we have Predator to draw. While well, they plans to hold on, and we have bag of prep times two in the beginning. So at least in the first turn, we're not mitigated too much. With hovering kite, but for extra energy, do I, the downside is pretty massive. Honestly, it's just skip a busted crown here. What about shift uh, smithing? No. Oh, that's a hard choice. Maybe. Do I really want to smith that much more anyway? Anyways. The deck's pretty smithed at, as it is. I don't know. Stop choice. I need to take my duck. Make me uncomfortable, boy. I'm getting heavy. Making my legs, making my legs fall asleep. I want to go for elites, but at the same time, it's like can't rest. And I think Reptomancer is pretty bad for us. 
Domain is pretty bad for us. Fortunately, no matter what. So with that being said, sign me up, baby. Let's do it. Tiny chest here. I forgot to mention. I was thinking it, I didn't mention it. Tiny chest, potentially. Okay. I made a huge mistake, actually. Maybe not. Can you imagine doing finisher on Spiker? That way, speaking of Spiker, how are we handling the Spiker? How are we handling the Spiker? This is the worst fight for my deck. This guy's horrible for my deck. Jesus Christ, this guy's bad for my deck. AoE fights, I guess, are really rough for me. This deck has a lot of weaknesses. And, uh, corpse explosion, so maybe Buster Trial is a mistake. Like, I could take a bust. I could take a corpse explosion. I could use a um, an after image for these shivs. After image is pretty important for these shivs if I want to have a non dead card my, against the heart. Man, yeah, maybe Buster Trial is a mistake. Oh well. Christ. Oh my god. What a turn. What a turn. They don't have the piercing whale either. I don't have piercing whales. Oh guys, we're, we're screwed. Guys, I think this run is doomed. I see it already. I'm missing a lot of pieces. a little rough. I don't really have to... Um... Ooh, Dagger Spray? Honestly, I might use that lose Dagger Spray here. I might. The Dagger Spray is... No, Reptomancer, right? 
They without, without our deck, for Raptor Mentor is even worse. I'm pretty bad against the Thorny Boys, but but okay. This needs to save me. I take the gold, right? We take the gold 100. percent All right. Now, if only I did this before the damn Kunai showed up, huh? Shame, shame, shame. I like this. So we have to craft our deck now. Unfortunately, to craft my deck, I have to add these damn cards. So Deadly Poison is not too bad, considering it gets rid of an artifact. And Poison is a nice... It's nice to have some Poison in your deck. I feel like we do want some Poison, but... So Peace Pipe, I can get rid of the normality that way. Since we have nothing else to do with this, these rest sites, right? We have to recall, and that's it. So Peace Pipe allows me to do something. It's kind of nice. Recall, remove, remove. And at that point, I can get rid of two more strikes and make the deck lean, mean killing machine. The only problem is going against the heart. This whole shivs into finisher is not really going to be viable. Oh, yeah, it's scary. Oh, that's terrible. That's... Well, that's terrible. Alright, so, um... So, game. You realize I can't rest or upgrade. You're giving me two out of three relics that involve resting? Okay. What's next? Wait, so, a meal ticket could be a way to get some stain. Although, there's no shop coming up. Unless I go this path. So, I want to go this path. I guess I'm at HP, which is not bad because I can't rest, so 15 HP is quite nice. And we skip elites if we want to. Huh. Kind of just want to see what rug is underneath it. Of course, there's events as well, right? There's a couple of events for tiny chests, yeah. Do we care about skipping elites? Maybe not. So here's my logic. Why waste money on removal when I can do it piece by piece for free? The only reason to do that is because I don't want to fight this next fight with normality in my deck. So I'll remove the normality. So that I can use the piece pipe to remove strikes instead. Still want to remove a lot of things. I want I think we buy region pots, because we can't heal otherwise. So artifact potion is very useful. God, artifact potion is very useful. That could be how we break the, break the heart. Like where we artifact something like a um, speed pot or something. Hmm, still don't know though. I think I'm happy with this. Kind of want to flesh out my cards by body deadly poison, but it doesn't feel that great in my deck. I suppose violence is not bad either actually. So since I'm going to be removing strikes, violence is very often going to be pulling finisher or, you know, predator or whatever, sucker punch. It's either going to be pulling a weaken or a finisher most of the time. Ah. I feel like it's pretty good. It's a one-time thing, though. Kind of just kind of curious to see what else is underneath it, though. So what, what, what rare colorless cards do I want? May as well buy this anyways? Ah. Well, no, there's another shop right here. Right, I'm going to the shop deliberately to heal, but also to see what else they have. And there's a shop in Act 4, so I would buy all these relics if I wasn't going for this shop. Right, if I was going for this path with the elites, which I'm kind of still considering just because we, we have we bought the Preserve Insects. So it looks a little bit easier. No, but we're going to go here because we get events with Tiny Chest and another shop. We still do, we still want to lead anyways. It's kind of risky. Alright, so Raptor Mans are scary, right? Eh, with Preserve Insect, it's a little less scary. Giant Head, pretty scary. Giant Head, we could get a big turn with Finisher. Oh god, this guy's kind of like an elite in his own way.
Blur would be fantastic at this point. Calibers as well. So there's there's ways we can break the open. So if we get like if we get um tough bandages, and calipers and blur, like a lot of these relics we can get. I forgot to be region potting. Oh god. Now it's too late, right? I wouldn't get full value out of it. Yeah, I guess I can hold it. But if he drops a potion, that feels really bad because I don't want to lose ancient putt. So. For the chance that he drops a potion, I should just use a recreation pot now. That was a mistake. Hmm. This guy's scary. 100%. Any drawn to um finish are coming up. Okay, we didn't get full healing. Should be fine. Whoa. Oh. So Snuggle Skull was one of the things I talked about in Venom. Like, I was saying the reasonable chance we're going to find Snuggle Skull just because, you know, we have Courier in membership card, right? But I think in Venom I still didn't care. I mean, I don't know. With Mem Stugger Skull and Venom is a little bit better, obviously. I'm buying this to make space. Tinksha? Ooh. I could help with my damage. With if I buy Calculator Gamble, I could do a lot of damage against the heart without actually having to do Finisher. Piercing Wheel. Bronze Scales. Oh, Paper Crane. Tinksha. I'm thinking a second to calculate a gamble here. So I'm really hoping out for. We didn't get the healing from this shop, did we? So that's broken. Maybe maybe not broken. Maybe it's intended. Maybe it's intended. But we did enter a shop and we did get the healing. I feel a little bit gypped because this is a very, very underused shop relic. For it not to work as it I mean whatever. Anyways, um, that is kind of lame, actually, isn't it? He had one job. Uh, what was it? No, I think we should calculate gamble because I think we want to potentially break the game with um, top energies. But I can no longer upgrade, can I? Oh no, I can still upgrade. I know it's an event. I know it's an event, but it, it's a it's, an, it's a shop. I entered a shop, right? It was an event that had a merchant. I entered it. No, that makes sense. I get it. I get it. I get it. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I can't actually. Well, actually, I can't upgrade Cal Calculator to Gamble. That was my bad. I mean, I guess I could upgrade it next. Um, next campfire. 
Act 4. Although I think I prioritize Cloak and Dagger here. Calculate Gamble. It depends. If we get... I think so makes it sort of... I don't know. Interesting. So right here we have Gremlin Horn, which I, is losing value right now. Noxious Stream is a kind of like, because we have Sneko Skull already. Yo, what's up, Festive Bested? Good morning. Um, and it, it, having the power of Noxious is... It's definitely a boon. Get rid of artifacts, right? Just to get rid of artifacts solely. Pay for max HP. Consideration. At this point, we're running out of gold, though, right? We're running out of gold. I really want to try to find tough bandages. I think that's one way we can break the deck open. How much is that? You think it's going to cost... Mm, how much is that going to cost Rush? You think you like Funnel Noxious, really? Well, it does go with Sneckle Score, right? Gets rid of artifacts. Starts to poison up quicker. It's not bad. I think I like Max HP better, honestly. I don't like Flash of Steel here. I'm already playing a lot of shivs against the heart, which with no benefit, like no after image, so it's already kind of a problem. And I didn't really get Kunai Shuriken, so this is less beneficial. Yeah, the pair is a little bit more expensive, but I'm 10 max HP is pretty significant. Hmm. Hmm. It's in the shop relic if you buy that. Is that how it works? It gives you another shop relic? It goes by slots, right? And we we want it. We're ideally looking for tough bandages, yeah? Well, okay, we're deeply looking for Incense Burner, Tough Bandages, Tori. And we want to put our money where the pair is. Um, and actually, no. I don't think this gives a Sharp Relic, because I did this last time. I bought the stone here. Oh, well, uh, well stone wasn't a Sharp Relic. Okay, fair enough. You guys like Funnel. I don't know if I like Funnel that much. Am I sleeping on it? Gets rid of the artifacts. Also, it's like a skull. Basically, it's a glorified artifact thing for me because I have both. Hmm. I don't think the funnel's worth, honestly. Nox is pretty good, but I really want the um, tough energy so bad. I'm gonna hold out some blade dance for the finisher. It's kind of a nambo though. It's fine. Kind of so the, the holding on, to, I, I mix so that I can't really do. Holy plants. I mean, I can't do my tincture as much as possible. More weakened. I don't know. We got we got sucker punch. We have neutralized. I suppose we can add a leg sweep. Again, we do have pepper cream, so more weakened the better. I just feel like it might be clunky. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it clunky? More block. Hmm. Another block card does look right. What with all this right here. Hmm. Feels right. Tiny chests. It came through. Gave me singing bowl, but hey, that's one more chance to find tough energies at the shop.
On the bright side, guys, now we can kill these things by just simply discarding. Ah, uh, forgot about the days. Right. Um. All right, we'll kill it simply by using poison then. I mean, we technically still could still discard, but. Yeah, it's not clunky. Oh, I wasn't worried about it. It's not clunky. It's not clunky. It feels right. It feels right. Because we have a decent amount of energy. Because we ended up taking another energy relic, of course. And uh, I do see sometimes that we don't get block cards all the time. So yeah, adding another block feels right. Because we have a lot of non-block cards. Just relax right here. Noxious Tombs might be a worthwhile upgrade. Scaling is much faster, but I have to recall it first off. And then I also want to upgrade. No, it really depends on what we get. Doing zero damage here. Max HP. Oh, uh, honestly, the discard. It's not like we have expertise or anything like that. Nah. Look at bronze versus. Mm. Oh, my bad. Although vulnerable is actually quite useful to go for damage. Like if I'm trying to kill the Donu Deca, let's say we want to smart down deck a Donu, the vulnerable could really help achieve that. Might have been a misplay there. What's up, Divine? How you doing? Uh, we don't need another one of this. Alright. Recall. Let's hope I don't think we're gonna have a fear pot here. Alrighty. We want to get Noxious Tombs out, we want to get Full Workout, we want to get Wally Plains out, all the powers. Also want to try to get in the week and go on. Mm, I'm still thinking about the heart though, I feel like... Without tough bandages, I'm a little bit worried. And we didn't really get after image either. Or, of course there's also instant burner, those, those as well. Take damage is fine. Time meter next bus. Finish all the achievements. I um, I'm still have to chase the crabs off, and I still have to do the lunar items.
I can't prevent damage, but it's like this damage is kind of negligible. The damage is not too bad. What's what's up, Scotty? No, how you doing, buddy? I forgot to weaken this guy, by the way, because I have the. Oh man. It might be worth it to just get this days back in the deck here. Maybe not. Maybe I lied. I might have lied there. No, because I had the weakened. Ah, uh, I'm silly, boys. I had the weakened and I didn't use it. I was so greedy. I said. I had the weakened. Okay. And that's kind of a lot of damage it took. It's actually not okay, but <laughs> we'll see what happens. Oh, shit! As with the Unicorn, thanks for the Fish Prime, buddy. Oh, thanks for the Tier 1 sub. Welcome, man. Shooting's going well, Scotty. Damn, we played a lot, a lot of SCS today, though. <laughs> and that's not a bad thing. I want to stay finisher for a better turn, right? Alright, we need finisher to be huge here. Ah, I know it's wrong. I know it's wrong, boys. Uh, man, I know it's wrong. That should be fixed. So the game is going to be lower. The game is going to be lower, but this is how it should have been. Oh, shit. Still kind of loud, huh? Uh, let me fix that. Oh, shit. Still kind of loud. Hmm. All right, I'll fix it in a sec. Is okay? Yeah, it was supposed to be that originally. Uh, 54. All right. Oh, shit. So that, for that one turn where I didn't weaken, we, we lost a big chunk of life. Hopefully we're okay. Time meter, I mean, time meter is kind of an issue. Time meter, what's the what's the good game plan? Time meter here. Do we try to block as efficiently as possible and let Noxious Stream scale up? Yo, Divine, thanks for the Twitch Prime, man. Welcome, thank you. Sign our powers here. Hear me out. What if I'm for six right now? Well. Well. For seven, rather. Huh. Doesn't seem bad. Now, the only thing here is... So for the second phase, right? So let's say I do my lays now, I don't do it for the second phase. We could we could reasonably set up like a finisher back to back turn with some poison. So let's say we get a lot of poison stacked up, we can set up finisher with all the plants to potentially burst him out before the second phase happens. Mm. It does. Second stage does remove it. So I can save it for the second phase, or I can just do it now just so I can have 
an easier time defending and letting Noxious Team skill up. Second phase does remove it. I'm gonna roll with this. I don't know. I should play one power at least. Should play one power at least. Play dance is an issue though. I mean, I don't know how slow I want to take this fight. Like, if I can reasonably hold on to this the whole time. What's up, Sir Gridham? You heading to work? Festive? Hey, take care. Have fun at work. Well, not have fun, but, you know, do work things and enjoy work. Be safe. No, I think he's, he's slamming me already. He's slamming me up. He's ready to sleep right now, guys. Get, grab your pillows. Grab your pillows. He's slamming me there. Um, I mean, we still need, we still need to, so, I should probably push him over just because I still need some card space to play Finisher Blade Dance, if that's something we're going to reasonably do. What's the most amount of damage we could do, actually? Hmm. I have to calculate. So, like, I mean, this is better for me anyways, because I want to be able to have time to do finisher, like, enough cards. Like, this is a good turn, because Cloak and Dagger, and the Neutralize. But it's not good enough. Because it's not going to... Hmm. I don't even know. We're going to kill him, I just don't know yet how... Be fear probably would have been nice. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. I know I could have used Piercing Wall at a better turn, but since he's Malays for so much, I'd rather have Piercing Wall out of my deck. So this is a good turn, again, for Finisher, because he's getting close to the... I think even more ideal would be using Finisher on a turn where I have potential to draw back into it the next turn so I can maybe just skip the second phase. So like right now, getting close to getting rid of Poison. If I do Finisher next turn though, I may have a chance to draw back into it and kill them all together, like especially if I use Predator and hold on to Calculate Gamble. So I think next turn would be the best turn. So what I want to do is I still want to do some damage. I want to utilize cards so I have enough time next turn to use 12 cards potentially. But if I end my turn and then he cleans up the debuffs. No, we have time. Yeah, so let's do this. It just barely. 4 HP off, right? So I don't want to strike him again because it's going to pre. Oh, the. Scales. Oh, scales ruined me. Uh, I could have solved that, huh? I could have solved. So he's gonna go clean it up. I mean, there's nothing healthy in the world. Since he's cleaning up, I might as well just attack him for as much as possible then.
Mm, there's no way we're getting. Yeah, we didn't get calculate gamble. Okay. Well, how much damage is this anyways, though? Let's just calculate. 10, 15, 30. That's 5 attacks. 30 plus 5 attacks. 51, 6 attacks. Yeah, it's not enough. Not even close. It's 105. Okay. Yeah, I totally forgot about the fact that the thorns, the skills, this would have been so much better if I didn't push them this turn. So I had 12 turns to do 105 damage. So it's 12 cards, I mean. And then we have the poison damage. And then we have next turn to potentially push for lethal. Alright, so what do we do? We just pass? It's going to get significantly harder because now he's not going to be malaised. And we're holding to weaken, yes. Hmm. Game plan's a little bit different, though. I don't have pendant, right? So if I had pendant, it changes drastically in terms of finisher being lethal. Also, if I had fear pot, which I kind of felt bad by not having. Hmm. Better draw. I mean, make sure and draw looks okay. But yeah, in, I think the fact that we have weakened in our hands, I don't really care about predator. Although, just to get rid of the slimes, I'm down for that. Right, so I think now he's gonna start doing damage. Well, I want to get rid of the slimes. I'm vulnerable. Three cards. As long as we have enough cards, we can still do the 105 thing that we talked about. Tiger Gamble is pretty damage efficient. It's getting close to finisher being lethal. So how many cards do we need for finisher combo? It's going to be 2 plus 5, 7 cards plus finisher. Oh, we want more cards. Yeah, we're probably reasonably like 10 or, 10 or 12 cards. Alright, so we just got to survive to one more rotation and then just finisher combo, fin kill them, right? So we're fine. Honestly, I can start pushing for damage now. I bet I want to rush it. Let's start pushing for cards then. that we have finisher coming up as potential lethal here if we get the right cards and we didn't draw finisher so yeah, we draw next turn right so 89 plus 17 so I'd seem to do okay we should oh we're weakened Right. Or weakened. Well, I can't do that then. I 
I need to be able to do 72 damage. I don't think I can. Nah. I don't have 72 damage when I'm weakened. How many attacks is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's thirty six damage. Forty two. Fifty four. No, we don't have 72 damage. The problem is I, I want to block, but I want to make sure I have enough cards. So next time we need to have... Alright. Should have enough cards. GG. I overthought that way too much. Alright, so back to the matter at hand. We need to find tough bandages. Or something else that's broken. I never thought that last turn too much. I was trying to like push relief for no reason. I'm trying to save life, I suppose. Alright, so if we want to smith. See, the smithing cock of the gamble feels a little less good if I don't know for sure. Yeah, we didn't get after him, which is unfortunate. No, I still think tough bandages is really good. I can go all in and upgrade the Cockleth Gamble, because it is still a reasonable way to get damage for for cheap with Tinkshas. And if I do high roll to advantages, I feel like at this point I'm manifesting it. I think Cockleth Gamble is amazing. Uh, the alternative is to toke a uh, more strike out, or to upgrade. So the Cockleth Gamble, uh, Cloak and Dagger doesn't feel like a good upgrade against the heart. Piercing well seems pretty good, but again, over a little excessive as well. And Noxious seems a little bit... Eh, it's probably not that necessary. They already have Snuckle Skull, so it's already as if it's Smith. Now we could upgrade it and make it even better than it's, you know, than the Smith version is. But I don't know if I want to waste an upgrade when Snuggle Skull already does the job for me. And I don't know if that's more important than Token to Strike or not. The Paper Crane, the damage of the heart is much more manageable. I didn't take that into account. The fact that he's weakened means I should be able to reliably block. Granted, I draw enough defense every turn. Like with the dexterity that I have, plus the fact that he's going to be weakened Paper Crane. Yeah, we should be able to reliably block. Regardless if I get tough bandages. And, um... I think that helps if I Toka Strike. I don't think dodgeball. I don't think dodgeball is the upgrade. I don't think it's the upgrade. I mean, it does help to play more cards because because you block on the next turn, but that doesn't seem like the upgrade. You think Noxious seems plus one is huge? The cloak attack is pretty bad against the heart. Definitely wins me the game. I know. The only problem is that I, if I upgrade the second calculator gamble, then. So, like, with only one Cockle Gamble, the top just doesn't. So, we have Tinksha. I wonder if we're considering Cockle Gamble again, so we have better draws, more consistent draws, right? Is that better than removing a strike? Uh, what for this? Whoa. Changes things a little bit. Changes things a little bit. Another thing to think about is Ned Kid. So I want to dig through potions because I want to maybe get like a speed pot or something. Well, so Flechette is kind of nasty as well. Accuracy <laughs> again. 
which is kind of nasty as well because we have a lot of skills and it also dumps our strength without having to do shivs. So Flechette is actually like a uh, finisher in my deck, but better just because of the fact that I don't really want to play that many shivs without after image. This is really so, and card draw as well. Card draw is massive considering we have all this energy. I mean, Mecha is a consideration because we do have to think about the burns and the um, the wounds are going to be, but eh, that's probably not that big of a deal. Yeah, we have Courier and we have Membership Card. Everything's cheap if you notice. Very cheap. Normally this is much more expensive. Is Shuriken even necessary? We do play three attacks, three attacks pretty easily, and then that would scale my damage pretty high. And we have the ability to block, I suppose, with the Paper Crane. I think we should be fine. You also can keep in mind, we're getting a lot of damage from this. I think like 135 or so, plus the Thorn Pot. So, with the Bronze Skills and the Thorn Pot, we have damage that we otherwise wouldn't have. Like, I don't maybe have to worry about damage as much. Because we have Noxious Fumes, plus we have the Thorns. And then... You know, the incidents, the incidental flechettes, or the, uh, I don't think shuriken's that necessary. But, I mean, it, it is very nice, right? I think we're going for it. Right, I'm doing this, that, and that. No! I couldn't afford it anyways. All right. Well, right off the bat, I see that we can maybe go for a kill on Spider Shield. First first turn. First turn kill of Spider Shield. We, we can make 93 damage if we get our finisher combo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of everything, I think. Right? Well, yeah, I think I am. Except for Dagger Sprite, maybe. <laughs> no, I think I'm getting rid of everything. Except for Backflip. <laughs> All right, finisher. Calculate gamble. Now, hear hear me out. What if I play bad blade dance first, then calculate a gamble? Second row of relics. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize I have rows of relics. You guys want to walk into my relic collection? My rows and shelves of relics. Yeah, shuriken and singing bowl. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I want to do Bleed Dance first. If, if I do Calculate Gamble, I can do like a... I do want to kill this guy right, right away. The problem is, I will get less out of the Gamble, but... Alright, I'm going to do this. Come on, finisher. Alright, we tried. We tried. I tried hard, man. Finisher didn't want to budge. But now it shows up. Why are you attacking me so much, little girl? Well, the whole time I should be focusing on you. Well, let me see here. If I focus and get rid of the artifacts, I could have managed this this turn with the weaken, right? Well, 
I think I'd rather just get full block here, so. I'll leave you like that. That's kind of funny to leave it like that, because then when they get 99 shield, it's going to be more of a pain in the butt. But I'm taking that risk. All right, back to you. Honestly, I could just full block and let you. So you're gonna kill us with thorns and poison, right? Just full block at this point. Fine, we'll kill you. Jesus, this chest is so good. Man, that card's so good. Question is, if we get like a speed pot, I'm probably taking it, right? Oh, snapples? And we have the energy to do this acrobatics 100%. 100%. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Okay. Noxious Humans, yes. I want to find my powers. Hmm. Stack up some of the weak in here. Do not want to use my lasers yet. on him. So the worst case scenario is like let's say I don't like if I discard both weekends and I don't find yeah I just guarantee put the weekend on so let's do this. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five. And since I have like, I don't really want to hold on to finisher. I'll just get the shuriken proc now. Let's push for damage. Oh! Cancel! Cancel! No, let me drink! 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 Ah... Uh. Do I roll with it, or do I just, like... That was a genuine mistake. Let's roll with it. We're gonna be vulnerable now. That doesn't feel like a real science. It's not really science, in my opinion. Alright. We, were one, we, were, we, we almost had two shuriken procs here. That would have been nice. Alright. Nothing happened there. <laughs> Wait, is he doing 27 damage? Hippocrane is insane. I don't want to look for a better block. This is not really a... Well... Oh, yeah, I think we, we can do this. Right, that wasn't perfect. It wasn't perfect. Whatever. It's fine. That wasn't perfect, though. He's not weakened anymore. Uh, I should have held the cock to gamble. Oh, we have backflip. Derp. Taking two from the burn, two from that. I suppose it's not worth. I 
Well, I don't want to hold out the shivs, but it's an extra damage I don't have to take. All right, so let's keep track of one with the fan here. Hmm, a little awkward here. A little awkward. Our damage, we're making some good damage though. Let's go for Shurik and Brock then. Maintain the weaken and utilize the shots where it's more appropriate. Like, like that's worth it. Even if I take two damage, that's totally worth it. It's very good damage. Very good damage. Our next priority is getting rid of the artifacts so we can do malaise. Or pitch them all for next turn. Either, either one. So we can get Shuriken, Parak, and Ornamental Fans, which is very nice. And I'm gonna hold Piercing Well. Oh, well, we might even draw into Malaise. So we can either do Piercing Well next turn, or... Calculator Gamble to find Malaise, or hold on to Acrobatics here. We have a lot of choices. Paper Crane was huge, though. Damn. Kinda makes this guy a little bit of a joke. Eh. Malay's here because he still gets rid of the negative strength next turn, right? So it, it feels kind of... Pointless, no? Because he does the debuff clearing thing again next turn. And I can already block this turn no problem so I don't really want to waste malaise on this turn in particular when I can do it on the next turn it seems like a waste so blade dance would give me f damn I guess I can get piercing out of it no I'm not supposed to save all this stuff but the, what, what I am going to do though is I'm not going to hold on to it because I want to push for damage. So that might be a problem where I'm not holding onto the cards where I might need them. But we have calculated gambles and acrobatics and stuff. Uh, I want to push for some big damage this turn. That is some damage. Unfortunately, he blocked a lot of it, but... We're almost there. Piercing well right now. Kinda wanna do backflip predator neutralize. GG. Oh, I had another shuriken prop. Whoopsies. Alright. And that is 72 damage. No big deal. And GG. They pulled it together. Um, Paper cream is huge. Not much more I can say. Good run. Two wins today. I think we won. Eh, I'm not sure. That was a good run. Good, good. I like it.